friends, welcome back to the channel. Buck and Billy Ray here. Listen, thank you all for hanging around on this big job. This was almost like a coming out party for a bunch of saws and myself as well. And uh, we're, we're just excited to share it with you. Um, this 500 is bonkers. We've got this video and then uh, probably one more and the finale, the roll, and we'll be moving on. Thank you all so much for watching. So friends, I'm just kind of back barring this so that when it comes time to get on the other side, I know where to stick my bar. Like it, this is a big tree. So you can see I'm just kind of finishing those cuts. You see, I'll back bar that. And then my kerf will be visible from the other side of the log, the high side. And I can just join in and start tearing up the back side of that log and getting ready for the big roll. This 500, friends, it's... It's a saw. Let's get it on.
to get out my still hat I've got one somewheres but ripsaw it, it, you boys you done something to that that saw I, I don't I don't know it was the my 500 I did not run like that in the wood it did not 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 that aggressive but it but it, my 500 I was always when the dogs were in and I was in a lot, it, it always impressed me. It did, friends, I'll, I'll be honest. That that was never the problem I had with the 500i. It was in small wood. <laughs> You guys who have been here forever, you, you know what I went through with that saw. And you know the whole transition and relationship I've had with that with that saw. You folks used to think I hated still and I was just a husky guy and I was I I, I didn't give the friends this saw's nuts. It's nuts. It's a joy. It consumes so much fuel to give this effect. It has to consume fuel to, to create that much power, friends. They they did a phenomenal job and it and it bothered me and that blam blam remember we went through it friends that's gone it's gone <laughs> From Pennsylvania I traded ripsaw my saw for for theirs and uh, I got it back and it kind of it kind of took a little bit to get into this game into this uh, air so friends I do this now I take I use this saw to run this log right to the end so I'm just gonna freaking film this and you can watch and we can have some fun together or uh, it, it, like this is what this video is. I got some different angles and this and that, but this saw is mad. It's mad. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>
I know I get excited. I know I get excited about stuff like this. I'm getting my hair cut, by the way, today, friend. She's a little haywire, I know. She's a little long on the sides. I'm gonna get her smashed back. Mean, cutting mean again. But I'll tell you something. I'm sitting here, I don't know if you can see, but see where the shade is right there? There's there's moisture. There's moisture out still, like a, like a mist, you know? But I'm, I'm sitting in the corner where the sun has been and it's dry and friends, oh, it's eight something in the morning, 8.30 in the morning. We had a very productive day. Friends, there's a whole pile of stuff going on behind the scenes uh, for this trip to Nova Scotia. And I wanna thank everybody involved. You know who you are. Uh, your shopping at buckandbillyray.com is helping so much. Thank you. If you're looking for a way to, to be part of this thing, uh, buckandbillyray.com the recipient program is there at buckandbillyray.com as well you can read through there and see what this whole thing is about if you're new here especially if you're new uh, it's probably different than anything you've seen on youtube uh, I, I again i don't talk about it a lot but it is very important and to me it is extremely important and cool going forward in our world i think we need more of it so i'm just gonna do it and have been for a long time and it actually changed my life and changed my business. So if you are opening a business, you may want to take and and any business, but but especially in the manual labor business, like a landscape or tree service or anything to do with service. We're all in the service industry. Go to buckandbillyray.com and read about the the recipient program. It changed my life, spiritually, mentally, and physically, probably. Um, so I'm, I'm very passionate about this and it's not something that I talk about all the time, but it's there for you to read and understand where my heart is at. So thank you to everyone who supports that and, uh, and at buckandbillyray.com. Listen, very quickly, I was at Bear Claws yesterday. He gave me a couple of black coils for the, for the saws that I run. You know, there's the 372s, there's those blue coils and then there's the black ones. I went up to see the, my old buddy and he's doing great. Friends. We were talking about, like, see, you see how I'm running this saw on off the trigger, not just bury the wrap electrical tape around the pistol grip and just go. Um, I was talking to the claw yesterday and, and I said, Bri, I, I just don't blow up saws. I, I, he goes, nor do I. He says, I've got four or 5,000 hours on saws. And he says, buddy, you know, whoever, we didn't mention any names, but he said, I, I know a couple of guys, like they're going through these saws like mad. It's the operator and you're filing. I'll, friends, I'm telling you, I will have these saws for years, every single one of these, except maybe, it depends on, on some of these crazy ported saws we don't know yet. Some of them are uh, almost like uh, experiments, right? But like that 500i, that thing will run like that day in, day out. It's all in the operator. I see these guys just abusing these saws, like just pinning it to the boards and holding it there and expecting, that that heat won't have an issue and it, and it and it will so just be nice to your equipment they'll last they'll last a good long time keep a good strong mixture in it anywhere from 40 to 50 to 1 you'll be fine don't worry about all this crazy stuff you hear on the internet i've been running 44 to 1 for about 25 years i've actually leaned my mixture out learning more that i've learned through the years i've actually leaned it out i'm, I'm running about I might be closer to 50 now, 48, 
40, 47, 48 to one. I'm, I'm in the high 40s now just because of what I've learned and I got a super good oil. So anyway, regardless, the sun's bleeming in my eyes, but I love it. Um, lots on the go. This 500, any saw you own, just be nice to it. It'll be nice to you. <laughs>